Snacks and playing games when there's sunny weather. La, 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 la. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books together. La, 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 la. Every day just has a way of feeling extra lucky. sad and not even wanting to do anything fun. Bucky, enough sadness. Just come outside. I don't want to go. I've never understood bears who love the autumn. <sighs> the cold and mud and rain. Nasty. I prefer the river, sunshine, plants in bloom, rosy perfect sunrises. <gasps> Whoa, idea! <laughs> Rain, cold, mud, 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 cold, cold, rain. A season's go. The autumn's just a pain. But I won't mope and complain. Instead, I'll use my brain. Great idea becomes a great design. Gosh, I love this amazing brain of mine. Now the sun will always shine, and I'll start feeling fine. Guys, Bucky has arrived. Whoa, Bucky, what are you wearing on your face? Yeah, nice, huh? They're my special glasses. I look at stuff through them, and all's as it should be. Here, have a look through them. Huh? Huh. Bucky, it's pretty, but it's not real. It's not real? Well, it's real enough for this bear. I'm going for a walk in the awesome sunshine. That's new. Just amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Whoa. Just look at all the pretty colors. Pretty. Ah. Ah. Yorn, what's going on here? Everything looks different through those rose-colored glasses of his. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Bucky, hold it! You'll get filthy! It's really muddy right there! It isn't muddy in my butterfly ship. Oh, the shining sea. I adore the ocean life. Bucky, don't you think you should go home? It's cold out here. Are you kidding? It's a warm and wonderful life. Bucky, you're not in the ocean. You're in a mud puddle. Come on, guys. You're just moping. It's depressing. Bucky, just stop this and take those glasses off. Bucky, you're acting like a crazy bear. What is going on? I'm cold all of a sudden. Ah! A puddle! Well, why are you standing there watching? Get me out of this muddy yuck bath. So I guess wearing rose-colored glasses is dangerous. Mm. Turns out it's much smarter to look at stuff like it is. Pretty soon, winter will arrive, and then we'll have skiing and sledding and snowball fights. 
Bjorni, that's so right. Winter is the coolest. <gasps> Look at that. It's snowing. <laughs> Booyah. Let's catch snowflakes on our tongues. Autumn's not so bad. It's just the path to awesome winter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cold. I love the snow. Winter rocks. <laughs> The Honest Truth. So I walked outside and the entire night sky was filled with beautiful shimmering lights. The Northern Lights, or as some say, the Aurora Borealis. Eh, that's nothing, Bjorn. Hmm? But this one night I went out alone and saw a big bunch of gnomes, right? But they were totally playing soccer. Franny, quit making stuff up. Everybody knows there's no such thing as gnomes. Go on, Bjorn. Tell us another story about the frozen north. There was this other time when I was riding on a big reindeer. Reindeer? What's exciting about that? This one time, I went up to the moon in a blue spaghetti pot. Franny, would you please just stop it? That is impossible. I promise you it isn't. You're just making up stories. Everything I told you really happened. Oh, it happened, did it? Well, we'll just see about that. Gnomes aren't real. I know they're not. You can't fight to the moon in a spaghetti pot. It's time to put Franny on the spot. She needs to learn that if you fib a lot, you'll get caught. Check this baby out. My brilliant defibrillator. Or I might call huh? it the truthotron. You huh. walk through the fib blocking rays and you huh? must tell the truth. <sighs> Then you stop being able to tell lies? I can't tell anything but the truth. Hi there, Bucky. Hi there, Bjorni. Golly, so what is that? This is, uh, it's a magical portal. It's a door that leads to an enchanted fairyland. I want to go to shiny fairyland. Go for it, Franny. <gasps> Where are all the fairies? The door must be busted. What a shame, I'm sorry. So, Franny, hey. Did you fly to the moon in a spaghetti pot for real? Of course I did. Not. Oops. Yes! The truth at last! From now on, Franny, you're only gonna tell us <sighs> the truth. Bucky! Huh? Hi there! <laughs> Working on a new invention? Hi! Yeah! It's my new back scratchinator! Your what? Look! If I come down with a case of itchy back, but both of my hands are occupied, then I just press this button like boop. <sighs> cool, right? Well, Bucky, the truth is I think you're wasting your time on that useless thing. Just scratch your back on a corner or a tree or something. Huh? Hi, Bjorn. What you doing? Greetings. Look at this. I've created a rock garden. Beautiful, isn't it? What? Beautiful? Not even a little bit. It's just a pile of rocks. How is that pretty? Meh. But it took me such a long time. Hauling these rocks from the river. Yikes, what a tragic waste of time. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. Gosh, Bjorn, there's rocks all over the path. It's dangerous. <laughs> Bjorn, you want to bet my Rodatroninator Maticizer will catch more fish than your little stick of bamboo, huh? <laughs> Bucky, Bjorni, come play with me! Franny, we're busy. We're fishing. Move on. Haven't you huh? learned? You're never going to catch anything, you guys. Your Rodatron oh, what's it is going to completely break, mm -hmm. and Bjorn will just sleep through every bite huh. he gets. You got a bite, Bjorn! Reel it in! Oh, 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 I was asleep. You fell asleep? Just what Franny said would happen. You slept through the bite. Oh, oh, my! Oh, what's happening? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What's with Franny? Who talks like that to their good friends, even if you're just telling the truth? All right, then. Come on, buddy. Let's go get back the old Franny that we both love. Honesty can be mean. Look, Franny, I fixed the portal. Go and frolic in Fairyland. Huh? So, where are they? Dumb machine, I can't get it working. Franny, guess what? The two of us just drew a portrait of Chicky. <laughs> so tell us what you think. Honestly, it 
It's not bad. I really like it. You got all the colors exactly right. <laughs> I feel like I've seen a picture just like this. Yeah, I've got it. It was on the wall in my gnome friend's cave. Of course. Between a picture of a unicorn and a picture of Bigfoot. The Porcupotamus. <laughs> now it's done, except for his carrot nose. I'll just go and get one. There's nothing special about his snowman, but mine'll be awesome and huge. I just need to roll up a monster big head. I got this. It's just so heavy. Hey, come back, head. Oh, oopsie. Bjorn is gonna be furious. Look at the awesome nose-like carrot that I just found. Lucky, what happened? Uh, uh, my beautiful snowman. Um, it, um, well, a porcupotamus trampled it. That's it. It was gigantic and scary. There I was, hard at work on my own snowman. And he charged out of the woods. Stomp, stamp, crush, crash! Right over your gorgeous snowman! Then he just thwomped off across the snow. Porcupotamus? That's very weird. Where could a wild animal that big even come from? I just told you. He came from the woods over there. Hi there, Bucky. Hi there, Bjorny. You guys want to come help me decorate my tree? Doing stuff and other stuff when there's sunny weather. La, 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 la. If there's rain, they do other stuff. I have the perfect spot for you. Look, here's a spot for you that looks good. It still seems like something's missing. The star at the top, that's what's missing. Granny, is this it? Yeah, but how will we get it up to the top of the tree? We'll just use a ladder, right? Of course, I've got one in my place. Bjorn, will you come with me and help me carry it, please? We don't really need a ladder. I'll just climb to the top myself. I am a bear, you know. Ladder, give me a break. I don't need some dumb. Whoa! Oh, Aww. Bucky! Our beautiful tree! What happened to it? Uh, well, the truth is, Franny, I was standing here just doing good things when he appeared. I was just standing around being a positive role model, and the porcupotamus charged out of nowhere! Stomp, stamp, crush, crash! Straight up your wonderful tree! I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen to me. Just look at what he did! And off he thwomped! Bucky, so just what exactly is a porcupotamus? Goodness me! I didn't know it had gotten so late! I have to do something really important, bye! So this porcupotamus has made a lot of messes in a very short time. Yet, he doesn't seem to leave any tracks in the snow, which is pretty strange. The only footprints are Bucky's. Bjorn, huh. I'm beginning to suspect that Bucky might be the porcupotamus. Yeah, Franny, I think so too. You know, maybe that storyteller should meet a real porcupotamus. <laughs> 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 Giant robot worms when there's sunny weather. If there's rain, they're hunting gold or raiding tombs together. <laughs> I can't believe they bought that stuff about the porcupotamus. I've been looking for you, Bucky Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Franny, you have to stop laughing. I'm sorry, but your porcupotamus voice is just so funny, Bjorn. You've been blaming me for your mistakes. Ah! Porcupotamus! Help! They're really real! Ah! Ah! Granny, you have to keep up, or else we'll totally fall apart. I'll try, but I can't see where I'm running. Somebody help! Ah! You cannot escape. Your untrue stories have angered the porcupotamus. Sorry is not enough. You must fix what you have broken. I will. I promise I'll fix it. Good as new, or even better. Well, guys, we're here. Now you can open your eyes. Wowee! It's really beautiful. Bucky, you did all of this yourself? Yeah, all this is for my awesome best friends. It was me. 
That wrecked Bjorn's snow dude and Franny's tree. Bucky, we knew it was you all along. Yeah, we both knew there's no such thing as a porcupotamus. Yeah, I thought that too. But they're really real. Strong and blue and huge. <laughs> and they know my name. There goes Bucky telling stories again. But... Oh, never mind. <laughs>